So this is our book club leadership for week three on chapters two and three. First, we'll talk about chapter two in its summary. Uh, first, Bolden moved schools in the fourth grade due to a redrawing of school zones. And he moved from a school that was primarily middle class to a uh, primarily lower class school. And at this new school, it had a much higher gang activity prevalence. Um, and at this new school, Bolden was bullied repeatedly because he was talking to a guy's girlfriend and he continually talked to this guy's girlfriend and eventually, eventually, eventually he fought back against the bullying. And at this new school, Bolden learned that respect was earned through fighting in which fights became occasional in the fifth grade at his new school. And then some more uh, later on in the chapter, he said that he returned to his original school in the sixth grade, but at that point he did not fit back into that school because he had adapted to the ways of the uh, fourth and fifth grade school that he went to. And because of this, he was he and his friend group that went to that other school were labeled as troublemakers and they were placed in solitary confinement during the school days where basically you were given a chair, a desk, and your homework for the day, and basically nothing else, and you had to stay in there the entire school day. But Bolden and the other kids from his neighborhoods were latchkey children, as he talked about during this chapter, chapter two, that the parents weren't around for the entire day, and the kids would just walk around the neighborhood and do whatever they wanted. And within his neighborhood, he gained a le legendary status because he fought people older and bigger than him. And then finally, in chapter two, they at the end, he moved homes going into the ninth grade and he began to wear red colored clothes because that was what his new friends were wearing. Okay, so for within chapter three, it explains how Bolden began high school, realizing that he had no place or purpose within his new established fireman, along with his friends as well. Here, within high school, Bolden had no proper social skills when it came to interacting with others, only because Bolden did not have any father figure that much in his life to direct him in making good decisions. The only way that Bolden could have found his purpose within this new high school is by joining a gang. Here, Bolden was able to join a small gang known as the Rigsby Court Gangster Bloods, in which he considered himself finding his true purpose while being in this new environment of high school. Bolden thought this was his only way to become someone and finding his potential in his new school. So some connections between chapters and theories for the social disorganization theory that we uh, learned this week. Uh, when Bolden discusses life at his new school beginning in fourth grade, he talked about how all the de-escalation techniques he'd learned at his old school were thrown out because uh, the culture of his new school was violent and he adapted to that culture by becoming violent himself. Uh, he also said that, or it also was implied in this chapter, that the social control was non-existent at Bolden's new school as the teachers couldn't control the students to behave, which led to increased social disorganization and more delinquency. And then just a chapter one connection for chapter two, he was bullied at his old school too, and he fought back against his bully because the teachers did nothing. So with my connections to chapter three was mainly focused within our criminological theory book. Here it explains that sociologists Clifford R. Shaw and Henry D. McCain showed how between the 1920s until the 1940s, there were different changes in crimes being committed within urban areas. Here they quoted how areas wrecked by poverty and consist consistent social change, the conversational institutions became weak and a value system supported of crime is nurtures. Here it connects to social disorganization theory because when it explains how Bolden joined a gang, 
he, all of his friends pretty much were considered in a low economic status. So it connects to the social dis- social disorganization theory because low economic areas developed juveniles turns them towards delinquency, which for an example is gang activity. It can be due to, in most cases, as a stereotype that juveniles living within these areas mainly live within a single parent household and are easily exposed to crime at a very young age. So that's all we have.